What's up everybody, this is Aprelia and today we're going to be looking into this new AI model by ByteDance known as Bagel which is the open source unified multimodal model. So it basically can do a lot of different things, not just text. So you can, for example, insert an image inside the prompter and it can tell you things about the image like, okay, this is the close-up of David's statue, all that stuff. And it can also do image editing so you can basically choose a part of the image or the whole image and start like adding different things into it or remove different things. I don't know if it can remove like backgrounds, for example. I don't know the exact capabilities here because the demos that we're going to be looking seem to be a bit more lower quality than the stuff that we're seeing here actually on this video. But I have to say it's pretty impressive and it's pretty competitive with these other multimodal models, which I guess the GPT-4 always like uh, the equivalent of that. And it also can seemingly to alter in the different styles, which we are going to be trying out and seeing how that basically works out. And this is as was stated on the title, it is open source. So you can basically download it and start interacting with it. Since this is still like very, very new, you are not going to be able to find many services which have integrated this on their third party sites, which are basically selling out uh, these AI things on a, their own interface or whatever type of a subscription model they have. So that's something that, you know, uh, you're going to have to wait for a while, perhaps, in case you don't like the options that we're going to be looking here today. But here you can see, like, you know, pretty good stuff, in my opinion, in terms of the quality and everything, uh, able to change the style of something like this drastically. And I think it's very much similar into, we obviously did review earlier the Dreamina, which is their image generator, and I think it's using the very same uh, data set there behind it. Maybe it's a bit more improved or maybe it's the very same. And here are some benchmark rankings. Now, obviously you can download this from GitHub. It's also on uh, Hugging Face. There doesn't seem to be any demo in Hugging Face right now. So we are kind of resorted into obviously running it natively or we actually, you know, have to actually use Fall AI and Fall AI obviously has a bit of a cost. So I'm going to, I can show you some of the things that I was able to prompt out today. So I basically pumped it out, this sort of a castle thing. This doesn't seem to have a lot of steps, by the way. I think this was 20 steps. So this is not a super high quality image and there's a lot of artifacts on it, but at least like in some context, like, okay, it's a uh, zoomed out, especially, it does look like pretty decent shot. Now I first used the actual image editing feature to basically remove the orange thing and put it a wooden door it was able to do that and then remove the people on the stairs and it removed all the people on the stairs that we saw and basically it, it was but but it also removed people from here so it was not able to follow it 100 percent right but at least in, in some context it was able to do so and there's also image understanding here um i added out an image here and i like okay tell me what exactly is going on here and pretty good you know description of it. I don't see anything that is um, incorrect about it. So let's go into text to image. Let's try to prompt out something. For example, there's additional settings over here. So you can use thought, I guess we could try that random seed. And safety sticker cannot be put out, which kind of sucks, but whatever. But there doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, censorship. So let's just do military girl headshot jungle, Vietnamese jungle background and hyper realism. Let's just go with that. And we're going to be running it. So this is going to be, there's obviously, um, and here you, here you can, by booting into creator, you can actually go into uh, the tabs. What you have basically prompted out earlier. Um, there seems to be another one that I was uh, prompting out earlier. Okay. This seems to be the same image with a different seed. And duration was 35, 38 seconds, cost 10 cents. So it's pretty expensive, guys. I would not pay for this this much, but I'm just doing it for the sake of the video as I'm always doing these. <laughs> it's going to be costing me more money than I'm making from these videos, obviously, but it is for uh, science, I guess. But uh, ultimately, like, these types of things are going to become more popular. We're going to be seeing a lot more other AI uh, protocols that are going to be creating um, things like these that are going to be multimodal. And I think that's going to be kind of like the meta going in. Let me see if I can actually go back into the thing that we just prompting out. 
this is the result but how can I see that's not edit text to image now here we can go okay so here we have military girl headshot Vietnamese jungle background hyperrealism pretty good text are totally wonky over here and it took out 44 seconds to prompt not the fastest thing I'll ever but I think there is a form of um because this is run through fall AI it's probably must be going through a form of um uh, queue there's a queue in it okay and then we're gonna be going into uh, edit I'm gonna be then I'm gonna be using the image that we just prompted out to basically edit it out and see its capabilities change the military costume into cheerleader costume and add sprinkles to her hair also change background into night jungle let's see how this basically turns out and um, whatever is going to be the result and we probably going to be seeing another like 40 seconds perhaps of prompt time over here to get the actual results and obviously i would have wanted to actually showcase you more of these prompts and images but obviously these are already costing me money and obviously there's not a, another service right now where we can prompt and see the capabilities of Pagel and what it can do in this service. Obviously, we're not able to crop out a certain area and change that. So fall is kind of limited here in terms of the service based on com compared to what we were able to see here on the actual technical paper. And if you're watching this video from a week from now, I'm sure that there's going to be more services which have integrated Bagel and all of its functionalities, all the editing and style changes which are going to be allowing us to, you know, interact on the way we want with it as this full AI thing is very, very limited. So here we have the actual alteration. The, okay, it became very, very messy. I'm not going to lie, but yes, it did actually did follow these things. So it's night in the jungle and it's a cheerleader costume, but a very low quality. And then you have sprinkles on it and some other stuff on the top. I don't really know even what that is but it did kind of follow it so and to some certain extent it did do an okay job but although not very very good but that's basically what i have to share with you on bagel today there's obviously a lot of other things that you can do in case you're going to be trying out things that these other multimodal models were able to do so it probably can replicate a lot of that stuff especially this um, image expansion thing would be very very useful because especially if you can upload your existing images there, I wouldn't have to use a third party service all the time to basically do that. But uh, thanks for watching guys. In case you wanna see more AI content on this channel, reviews and things like that and guides, make sure you subscribe and like the video, drop a comment. Have you tried out Bagel? What do you think about it? Is it better than the competition or does it really need a lot more work? Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video.